Now in this example, we've got a kilowatt microwave and it takes a minute to heat up a burger. And what we need to do is calculate the increase in thermal energy of the food, assuming that all of the energy has been transferred to the burger. So, um, what do we know from the question? Well, it says here it's a kilowatt, and therefore this must be a power. So we can say the power is equal to a thousand watts. So I've just converted that from kilowatts to watts to our standard SI units. Uh, the time was well, given here in minutes, but we also need to convert any time to seconds. So this is just going to be equal to 60 seconds. And we need to look at the increase in thermal energy. So this energy is our unknown quantity. So the equation we're going to use says that the power is equal to the energy transferred divided by time. A little bit hungry here. Mm. Right. And uh, what we can then do is rearrange this to say that the energy transferred is equal to the power times time. So the energy transferred is going to be equal to 1,000 times 60, which is then just uh, 60,000. And we can also write this in, uh, because that's given in joules, it might be more useful to think about this in kilojoules. So the increase in thermal energy of that burger is equal to 60,000 kilojoules.